We all know that advanced technologies such as Huawei is set to transform all of our lives in the coming years, but exactly how remains unclear. Our reporter Xi Jia had a look at the future during the Global Mobile Broadband Forum in Zurich. The 2019 Global Mobile Broadband Forum marks an important milestone in the information and communications technology industry's history. It's being held in a year that marks 10 years of 4G's commercial use and the start of 5G's commercial use. Imagine a man sitting in his office in China's Yunnan province, controlling the movement of trucks in Zurich. With 5G technology, he can remotely organize loading the truck from anywhere helped by its high-speed data processing. Uh, the future trend of 5G, I believe, is working on the vertical industry because if you look at the current stages of 5G, it addresses the commercializations of enhanced mobile broadband solution. According to a 5G deployment report from the European Parliament, Asia has seen the fastest development of 5G technology in countries like Japan, China and South Korea. Europe is lagging behind largely because of lack of investment in high-cost infrastructure. European countries are still trying to recoup their investments in the older 4G and 3G networks. In contrast, China's Huawei has spent a huge amount of money on research and development and now leads the field in 5G. From a standard point of view, we have a joint research in terms of the technical specification with local research institute, universities and the standard organization. We share knowledge, we share ideas and also the technical innovation because there's a lot of incubator. Right now we already have a 60 plus contracts for 5G. 5G will cost much more to deploy than previous mobile technologies as it is more complex and requires a denser coverage of base stations to provide the expected capacity. The European Commission has estimated that it will cost 550 billion US dollars to meet its 2025 connectivity targets, which includes 5G coverage in all urban areas. Market demand will be the best indicator for investors. However, According to the European 5G Observatory, 5G trials in Europe have so far been mainly focused on media and entertainment sector, followed by transport and automotive sectors. Games are already the biggest form of entertainment, and the mobile is the biggest gaming uh, segment. So it's bigger than the PC and the console games combined, and it's also growing strongest. Our interest to be here is that we are working with number of 5G operators around the world so we are looking into partners here and also like seeing like what's new in 5G. On this screen the girl playing the Chinese scissor is here in the exhibition center but the three gentlemen who are playing the traditional alpine horn are in a remote village 30 kilometers away from here. They are now collaborating on the same piece of music thanks to 5G technology. In the future Collaboration like this will be possible across many different platforms.